Hello, everyone. Welcome to Dragon Tooth Miniatures. I'm your host Bill, and my two companions for this episode are Nizar, our dungeon master, and Casper, which will be playing Alyssa. This is the first episode in a long-running series we are starting for our campaign, Dungeons and Dragons, based on Critical Role's Matt Mercer's book, Explorer's Guide to Wildmount. Of course, if you'd like to run your own Wildmount game. You can download or buy the book on Amazon or Wizards of the Coast official website. A brief exposition on Wildmount. It is a war-torn continent. Two empires are locked in a life-or-death struggle for possession of the pieces of Ao. Pieces of Ao are what was left behind after the War of the Betrayer Gods. The Betrayer Gods were too greedy, and using their followers, sought to control the continent, but with the intervention of the other gods like Pelor and Corellian, the forces of order were able to beat them back. Now, the once bright and beautiful cities are left to ruin, forgotten with boundless treasures and weapons from the war with the betrayer gods, just waiting to be claimed by any nation strong enough or adventurous foolhardy enough to find them. And now, on to the video. I apologize in advance, this is our first recording with quite subpar recording equipment. So, it is very echoey and it might get very loud at some points. So, again, please enjoy yourselves and on to it then. Obviously today, I will introduce my character, who is called Uwisi Oh, Equikri, Equikri, the most most impronounceable name possible. Yes. So he is a Yuan T pureblood fighter. So his background is that he's a gladiator and he's yeah, he's a bit of a brute. So I kitted out him out to be like a he doesn't have much armor. Uh, he's actually only got 13 armor class. So he's actually got bare minimum leather armor class. I don't know if it's like, you know, uh because I remember we had studded leather. Yes. But it doesn't show up on the character sheet, so we'll go through that later. But equipment wise, there's a blowgun, he's got a light crossbow, he's got a great sword, he's got a halberd, longbow, and he's got a poison attack with his acids with his poison spray breath nice. for being a Yuan Ti. So he is a he's a he's a man of preparedness and means, and he's got a giant backpack. Essentially, uh, ammunition, uh, adventures, backpack, and stuff like that. Rope, hemp, crowbar, hammer, batons, uh, anything you could ever want. And even, even got, like scraps of leather, just in case he, 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 somebody needs it. I don't know why. You feel you're wearing leather armor, right? Yeah, I'm wearing leather armor, so. Oh, it's just leather, oh, it's just leather armor. It's okay. 11 plus two. Oh, so it's correct. Okay, okay no, no issue, no issue. So I'm a fighter, level 1, and uh, he's going to be like, you know, whacking people with his halberd, and just in case the room is too small for his halberd, he'll be taking out his greatsword and like, whacking people with that. <laughs> the great, the greatsword is his, is his close quarter weapon. There's no room, there's always a poison. Yeah. Well, if there's no room, there's always a punch. So, here's the weird thing about him, right? So he's actually only like... 130 centimeters, so he's only like four foot something, so he's like the, the size of a dwarf, which is weird because the one T pure blood is usually like about like six foot something, like high elf, like you know, height. But you know, uh, all his stats are really, really like you know, condensed in physical, so he's got like the 14 strength, 14 dexterity, and 14 constitution. So it's all like you know, I, I envision to have him as like he's like a normal Yuan T, but just compressed down. So all his muscle mass is just like all in like that tiny compact like you know frame. So he's uh he's he's very, he's very short but extra thick. <laughs> In case you guys are wondering what kind of uh, agility scores we are using, we are actually using point point by point by method. So uh, this is to balance out uh, both players, Casper uh, and Bill, so that everyone feels important. No, it's because <laughs> these are. On our first campaign, right, he rolled really badly on his stats, and my character rolled almost maximum on everything. 
Wow. Okay. Everyone knows Esteban is the best. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Casper. Okay. Go, so go now I shall go for my character. My character, as in the previous game, I actually remake the same old character. Her name will be Alisa. Cause why not? Her race will be high elf. Cause you can use intelligence and dexterity, which I need a lot since I'm a mage. That's my class. And I put most of my points basically into constitution, intelligence, and wisdom because these three are like quite strong for the mage player. That, that's really interesting that you would put into constitution. Why did you put in constitution? Mm, of what rather than wisdom or charisma? Uh, I, charisma, I don't think I need it because I don't need to talk to people because I am Yeah, you do! <laughs> I am a loner. Okay, that, that's the perk of me. And uh, strength, I don't need to punch. I use mage to punch people. Yes, I use magic. Okay, yeah. but why not like, you know, wisdom? Because I put into wisdom as 15 or so. Okay. So basically I put into wisdom, constitution and intelligence because they are quite... What oh, dexterity? Dexterity, I don't need, I don't even... I'm a nerd, what do you expect? I don't exercise. So like, you know, what happens to, to all your cantrips that like, you know, need to roll the hit? Uh, it's okay. <laughs> you forgot about that, didn't you? <laughs> okay, everything is normal. <laughs> oh, no. okay. I'm going to hit. <laughs> okay, hit, right. hitting is nothing. I just need to watch the heresy using my flaming hands. Your burning hands, you're yep. going for like, you know, save or die spells, okay? I don't need even to roll, what? Intent, dexterity, wisdom, or anything. I just go towards them and just burn. That's wow. It. Okay, okay. Yeah. No worries, no worries. So, uh, for my skills, I put more into uh, medicine and religion. Because, yes, me as a studious guy, obviously. Studious. Yeah. Studious. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my armor class is 10 because. I'm just wearing my robe and just walking around like <laughs> What if we do? Are you just naked and like you know? Clothes. It's like guts. Like are you are you wearing a bath robe yeah. and you're like naked and being no, that? It's like some random robe that I found for some people. Yeah. That's it. I steal their stuff. You stole a ragged dead person's robe. Yes. It's called living on in a uh, okay. vagabond. Yes. Oh jeez. Okay. I am 30 feet tall because I am tall logically. But you're 30 feet tall? Oh. Wait, <laughs> what? 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 Oh, wait, <laughs> 30 feet, yes. You are 30 feet speed, so same as yeah. everyone else, okay? Yeah. What's your height? My height, uh, how tall am I? Hmm, I wonder. How tall are you? I shall be the 5 foot 6 around there, around, uh, what's so normal five? height? Yeah, just normal height. I'm just a normal human being. Not high. dwarf heart like me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Casper, have you seen uh, have you seen uh, uh, my character's like what he looks like? Yes, I saw it. In really? The, yeah. yeah. Oh, this cool. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Very stonks. <laughs> Very stonks. Did you see the new version of him? Wow, the one I did like with the extra posing oh, yeah. on Hero Forge. Ooh. Wow, he looks so heroic. Let me let, let's see if Discord will actually. Oh, Discord's on. Okay. Cool. single weapon just so I can prepare for everything. Are you a user for or stuff? I'm a Yuan-Ti. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, but uh, I didn't like the whole idea of the yuan having a half snake body. So I took inspiration from the snake men from He-Man. If everyone remembers that, them, so they, uh, uh, most of them have like, you know, uh, little like lizard legs and have tails instead of like, you know, the snake right. half body. So this guy is based on like if you guys remember uh, the character called Ratlore. So yeah. <laughs> okay, then uh, as a wizard, I have no, I have very very little health. I have only have eight hit points, which I'm very, I'm very painful as you can see. Okay. okay, no wizard. <laughs> okay. So oh, you have plus two constitution as a wizard. Yes. What the hell, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Give me big brain power. <laughs> plus five intelligence. <laughs> Do you have plus five intelligence? Yeah. Plus. Wait, no, uh, plus. Yeah. Five. Plus. Yeah. Plus five. 
Wait, what do you mean? Wait, intelligence is plus 3. Yeah, well, plus 3. Yeah, plus 3. Yeah, yeah. Plus 3. 16 intelligence. Yes. Yeah, so you have uh, six, uh, plus 3. Yeah. Because yeah. all of my strength, dexterity, and constitution is plus 2. Oh. So I'm all physical. And everything is like uh, zero, 0 except my charisma, which is plus 1. Because hmm. I'm a Yuan-Ti, so uh, I'm going to be using my, what is it, special racial bonus of animal friendship. So I can use that uh, as many times per day as I want. So I'm going to be trying to animal friendship a lot of poisonous snakes. Oh, really? I'm your poisonous snakes. Well, no, no, I'm going to be asking them for permission, uh, for them to like spare a cup of venom oh. for me. So I can put venom on my weapons or my bolts and stuff like that. Because I'm immune to poison, so I don't get any penalty for failing to use poison on my weapons. I don't get to breathe underwater, no. That's the lizard folk. You get this No. Okay, but... but that's a poison. Yeah, poison immunity. Mm-hmm. Interesting enough, the rogue does not get poison immunity for using poison weapons. <laughs> so if a rogue applies poison, he must roll to use the skill check. If he fails, he gets poisoned. Wow. Okay. <laughs> 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 No, he's a snake. He's already poisoned us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because the special asset is only once per short rest. Once per short rest. Yeah, once you need to rest. regenerate his asset. Yes, level 1. Ah, that's level 1. Even the cantrip is once per short rest. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. It's a cantrip, yeah. So it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's once per turn. Yeah, not bad, right? Very good. Very strong. Whatever is after that, I believe is once per short rest. Yeah, once per short rest. But uh, I don't need the asset spray. I can just put it on my weapon and just go like, WHACK! <laughs> well, I think I, I think there are more venomous. Uh, there are more uh, venomous snakes out there, so I can just ask them for permission to go. Can you spare a cup of venom, good sir? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Then uh, okay. So I have my high elf racial traits, which is dark vision. I can Nobody see. cares about your high elf racial traits. Christ, you're just a high elf. Get oh, out of here! Okay, then now we shall go to the amazing weapons that I have, which is very interesting. I have my fist, where I can punch things to death. Yeah. Yeah. I have a very short dagger. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I have a stick <laughs> that I pick up from the floor as my wand. <laughs> and I have learned four, five spells in wait, five spells in total, yes. Nice, nice. Four le- four normal cantrip spells that you can use every single turn. Okay, wait, wait. Don't yeah. explain all your spells. We'll leave that to like you know. Yes. Yes. And two level one spells that I never gonna use. And regret my decision after that. <laughs> yes. You fool. Regret stonks. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh yeah, I think that's all the characters. Do you have anything to add to your character? No. Casper? Oh yeah, my background. Hmm. Vagabond. Homeless person. Me? Okay. I have been isolated for so long <laughs> that I don't even know how to speak to people. Yes. What do you mean you don't know how to speak to people? I have been isolated. Do you not know common? <laughs> I shall stop. I, I have been talking to myself for so long. Do you not know common? I know. It's very recent. Yes. Oh my yes. God. What's charisma? Zero. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, charisma? I think it's negative. Negative one! Oh, it's not so bad then. It's not so bad then. I can't talk to you people. This is not a six. <laughs> wow. <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> then my bonds is my isolation gave me great insight into the great evil that only I can destroy. So, what insight are you talking about? I don't know. Evil. This is my bonds. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll find about that like later. Yeah, I, I think. Hopefully, you know, we'll find that about that later. Cool, 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 cool. So, uh, Zach, take it to you. Okay, so we are gonna begin the adventure. Mouth of Wild Mouth. So the fighting cold mouth of Wild Mouth is going to take place in the Grey Wildlands. Okay. So let us begin the adventure. You both are unconscious. What? Wow. <laughs> what happened to me? So you don't know what happened. You don't know that's why you're still lying down on the ground. And just unconscious. Unconscious, okay. So uh, you feel like this as well. Like this, the sound of fire, you can hear the sound of fire crackling, and you can smell the scent of the smoke and the burning fire. You shudder as you feel a powerful force landing on the side of your cheek. So someone slapped both of your faces. 
Oh. Yeah. If you Ouch. try to breathe and gather your senses and with your eyes slowly opening, you grab the very arm and they just slap you. You feel a layer of soft feminine skin as you quickly slide your hand along its front arm. Oh. And you like grab the, the person's leg and you grab the person's arm. But it's very smart, the arm is very small. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. So you suddenly release your grip as you notice that she begins to yell at you. Wake up! <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, nice. You hear a rather squeaky female voice ringing in your ears. As your vision clears, you look up, notice a strange, peculiar looking female gnome with thick, short, blonde hair, dressed in. No other, no other. What you get, the other queen, even. What? In like a clown outfit? Yeah, the kind of clown outfit. Wow, wow. The, the, the jacket. So she's just standing about three feet tall. She's like towering over you. For the first time, she gets to tower over people. <laughs> <laughs> Prisoners. And she tells you, she tells you the name. My name is Horatio, and I need your help. <laughs> no! <laughs> so she tells you a story about that. Both of you got knocked out cold in the fighting cold. And she saved your life. She pulled you to the to a, where she she's staying now, which is a, a cabin. Okay. And okay. Barn, it's a, you are outside the cabin and there's a barn outside. But in the barn there's no horse, no nothing. So she's telling you that she saved your life. And you owe her something like return. So she asks you to help her. She tells you that she is a she is a captain of a, a crew, a sailor crew. Of a sailing crew, okay. A sailing crew, right? So she needs your help to retrieve her balls and one of her crewmates who is trapped in the building just next to you. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. So uh, now she asks you. So she asks you what the names are. She asks you both to introduce yourself to her. Hey you! What is your name? Oh! My name is Luisi. <laughs> Luisi? Yes! It's been a long time since I've seen someone so ugly as you. <laughs> Where are you from? <laughs> Well, no one ever said I was I was a uh, handsome, but you know I, I do a good job of what of what I do. I uh, don't know where I'm from. Uh, I'm also a traveler. Um, you know, I go around, beat people up for money. You know, thanks. Thanks. You got money? Yeah, I'll beat someone up for you. <laughs> yeah. Hello, my name is Elisa. It's Elisa. Yes. Uh, Hello. I'm going around traveling to learn more spells and increase and increase my knowledge of the greater world and my spellbook collection to make myself a better wizard which I dream to become. Very nice. Now I need your help and I'll pay you 30% if you help me get my horse back. Is that a good deal? How much is 30% may I ask madam? 30% of what? So she tells you that she's actually uh, a captain of a uh, sailing crew, so she needs to escort someone important who is inside whatever is down under the cellar. So she needs your help to retrieve her boss and also retrieve someone in the cellar. Someone, okay. So she says if you help to retrieve that someone in the boss and she will give you 30% of what she is going to earn later in exchange for that someone. But so she has a job to do. But she has to bring that person back to a, to a village nearby. Yeah, but in it's... exchange, you, she will get 70% and you get 30%. But it's 30% of what exactly? Okay. Before, 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 How, How before? much is she getting? We need an exact amount. We need exact amount or we kill the gnome. 
<laughs> I'd rather kill her, take off the hundred percent, and just run. <laughs> So there's a lot of just 300 gold. 300 gold? Uh, 30% of that is 30 gold. Okay. Quick math, okay. That's quite a good deal. Hmm. Hmm. I'm, I'm gonna say like... Wait, what you cruise for like? <laughs> Negative <laughs> one. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I'm gonna say... 50%. So... Uh, Counter offer. Okay, for that you need to make a persuasion check. Persuasion check, okay. Right. But to make a, for this kind of, for my campaign, I allow a friend to aid another friend in checks. Okay. So if you aid a friend, that friend gets an advantage to the ability check group. Yep. But you must be proficient, then he will get an advantage. But if you are proficient? Not, no. If you are not proficient, I allow you to roll a G20 on the. 11 or more, you get rid of it. Okay, I shall. Stop. So let's get. Yeah. Let's make that roll. You want an 8 field? Yeah. Let's go. We see. 16. Ah! So you get an advantage. Right? Advantage, okay, can. Let's go. I got plus 1. So let's see. 19. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I roll advantage. I roll the advantage. Uh, to see if I get a 20. A natural critical. Ooh, okay. I'll take the 19 plus 1, which is 20. So nice. Yes. She tells you that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do that? Yes. Yeah. I'll give you 150 when we get back. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So as you both stand up on your feet, you notice there's a seller. Yeah, by now like all those old school farm you got like the the seller and the out, outside of the house. Like the, the kind of door. Yeah. The outside. Yeah. So. You're supposed to go in and retrieve whatever she has you to retrieve. Huh? So make a perception check. Perception. <laughs> perception, okay. Everyone can take perception. Perception check. Okay, 15 plus my perception. Uh, we should pass zero, so just plus 15. Okay. Me? I have a 3 plus 4. 7. <laughs> okay. Wait, 3 plus 4? Your perception is plus 4. Yeah. So it is very dark. It's in the just under the what well, are just under the moonlight is like probably I do have dark vision. Yeah, I think you both have dark yeah. vision. Yeah, we yeah. both have dark vision. So it's very dark. But you only hear the buzzing of flies around your ears. And you try to shove them away. <laughs> so Alisa, you're sorry you didn't notice anything, but but oh, but we see right? Oh, we see, yes. We see. You hear someone's voice yelling. No, 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 don't kill me, please! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... It's like the norm has to... Uh, is it like a lady's voice or it's a man? Yeah, it's, it's a man. Yeah, man's voice. Okay. okay. No, 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 please, yeah, please. And then the norm also hears that, and she asks you, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard it. Is it one of your crew? I <laughs> didn't hear anything. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> So she looks at you and Do you think we should sneak inside? We can try and sneak, but if not, well, you know, uh, I tap on my great sword and it's like, yeah, we can negotiate with them. <laughs> so the gnome offers you a hand and she asks you to hold her hand. What? what? She asks you to hold her hand. Okay. I, uh, you need you this. Hand. You need this. So we switch up. <laughs> and suddenly you feel the uh, uh, energy like flowing through your veins. Oh. There's, there's some kind of energy. So oh. she has given you uh, a very powerful blessing. <laughs> blessing is called guidance. Oh, guidance. I see. <laughs> yes. You don't get blessing. <laughs> <laughs> you are not socially uh, uh, relevant enough right now. But she also offers her hand. Alisa. Hi. So, say. Yeah. Offers and. Uh, Give me that blessing. <laughs> but, Bill gets guidance. But, Alisa, you get something called Blessing of the Trickster. Ooh. Ooh. 
Oh, but that's the idea. That's me. So, the last thing I'm a hipster means you get advantage on instead of jets. Ooh. <laughs> so, if you fail, you can roll the game. Yeah. 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 Oh, stealth. So, you both agreed to sneak inside. So, roll the stealth. <laughs> Let's go. Zero. Seven. You roll again. Yeah, you get to roll. 11 plus 0 so 11 <laughs> oh, shit dude <laughs> okay uh, I got 18 uh, plus 4 which is 22 should I use my guidance? I think I should use my guidance maybe oh, you should once you use that you... Only, only, uh, 22 is enough right? <laughs> 22 is enough <laughs> excessive stealth okay both of you succeed on the stealth check okay so... these guards man like the <laughs> these these are unscrupulous fellows, not paying attention. <laughs> okay, as you move deeper into the cellar, you see a mysterious and hooded male human stomping a trapdoor underneath him. As you hear the muffled cries for help by a mysterious man within it, okay. he appears hostile and he yells, Oi! Open up! Or you shall join the others. Okay, so. Is it directing at us or like you know, the no, opposite side? It's like stomping on the trapdoor. Okay. There's a trapdoor. Okay. So the, the interior of the cellar looks like uh, appears to be ransacked by mysterious entities mm. behind notes, papers, and broken pieces of uh, chemical flasks everywhere on the floor. So the the ceilings are fully covered, the rooms are very deeply lit by torches and lanterns. Okay. So it's a very dark room, but you all got dark vision, no issue. Yeah. So in the middle of the room, you see this wooded man, he's just stomping something on the floor. It appears to look like a trapdoor. Like, you know, those basement uh, trapdoor. Yep, yeah, yeah. So you both are sneaking in. Yep. Yeah. You notice this human. The fella is a very hostile, he has a club drop. Okay. It's not big. There is someone underneath yelling for help. Help me, help me. Help! What do you guys do? Okay. We, we, we fall back to plan Alpha. <laughs> we, 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 we whack the guy. Is he alone? Yes. He's a very fellow alone. Okay. Uh, I would like to make a perception check to see around, like see around the room and to make sure doubly like there's no one outside, there's no one hiding behind somewhere, no one like, you know, trying to do that sort of thing. Okay, perception check. Wow, only four. Four plus, yeah, just four. Okay, only notice the room, there's a lot of pieces of paper lying on the ground. Would you like to make a perception check as well? Yes, I shall make a perception check. Let's go. 19. <laughs> okay, so for Alisa, you see uh, hidden on the opposite side of you, there's uh, actually another door leading towards somewhere, but it's closed. So there's another door. Okay. You are really just like hiding behind. The I think just like pop it off and it's like, hmm, what's this? Okay. You only notice the guy just yelling, slamming on the trap door. Okay, can. But you you saw there's a, another door. Like, but it's closed. Along the hall. Okay. Yeah. So there, there, there you have it. What do you guys want to do now? Okay, cool. Let's do it. We can engage or run. Aha. <laughs> I think we should engage. Okay. Okay. So you guys are sneaky. Yep. You get a surprise. Yep. So, but you like to do it once before. Then you roll initiative. Oh, roll initiative. Yeah, roll initiative. One. <laughs> Ten plus two. Okay. So 13. No, 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 four. Zero. One plus zero. Okay. You are one. Eh? Yeah, I'm last, yes? As usual. <laughs> so surprise the so you all get to go. Okay, cool. Uh, I am going to take out my because this is a close quarters engagement. You have all, I'm going to uh, just. Am I within thirty feet of him? Yes. Okay. I'm going to basically barrel out and take out my greatsword and I'm going to whack, try to cleave him. 
Okay, cool. So, uh, advantage plus 4. Okay, the first one is 16 plus 4, which is 20. I'll try and roll a crit. And no, I do not roll a crit. Okay, so that you managed to hit with uh, your grit, so. Okay, cool. So, uh, 2d6, so, uh, spawn uh, 3 plus 1. Uh, I reroll that one because of the weapon expert. Uh, which is going to another one. Okay, so 4 plus 2. Huh? 4 plus 2, right? Yeah, 4 plus 2. Yeah, 4 plus 2, which is uh, 6. 6 damage. So you cleave the red sword, but wherever that person is, he, he takes the cut on his shoulder, but he dodges a little bit and he slowly turns around and tries to look at you. Okay, I action surge. I action surge. <laughs> <laughs> I action, action surge. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to smack him again! Wow! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> like, what are you doing? It's like... <laughs> but you can't really see it because it's really dark. Right? Yeah. So you're still in the dark. Yep. Yeah. So that was a 14 plus 4, which is 18. I roll again to see if I crit. I do not crit. So 18. 18 hits. So again, uh, two, I reroll that. Oof. Okay. Uh, three plus three. Uh, six, eight, eight, another eight damage. So as you did your first swing, you pull back your sword, and you do another up towards the right. Yep. You manage to just hit him on his throat. But yep. not enough to chop his head Dang it! <laughs> So he, you didn't get the job until up, but as he falls down, he, he yells. Oh, oh, I died. So that, uh, uh, so he's dead. Oh, he died, okay. So I saw that one. I looked at it. Hey, kill still. Come on, with the wonderful. My dad should search. <laughs> Let's <laughs> confirm the kill. Let's confirm the kill. Make a religion check. Religion check. I shall make it. Okay. Uh, well, everyone can make a religion check, right? Uh, you can assist him. No, I'm, I'm not, not trained. I think I should make the religion check. So if you're not trained, you can assist him. But on the eleven or up, he gets everyone. I'd rather just make the check. Check. Okay. I got plus five, you know. I got plus zero. Yes. Uh, so, okay. you should so it's it's a higher than average chance that both I would. Can make it. Yeah, both of us can make it. Okay. Am I? Ah! I got two. I got. Did I study a lot for this? I got fifteen plus uh, five, five. Twenty. Yeah. <laughs> you you realize when he died, he said, "I die. I die for Vecna." So Vecna is a god. Is a human who ascended to god. Because he's a mount of each each gods, each king gods in the one mount. Mm. So he's the god of necromancy. Ooh! Well, I shall search him. <laughs> I need the books, you know. So he's the god of uh, villainous mages, uh, aspiring politicians, and various servants for the dark. He's pretty much just a dark god, necromancy. Yeah, I pray to him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. So right now, you kill the guy. Yes. The dude inside is still yelling. Yeah, help me off. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, yeah. Uh, are we out of initiative right now? Yeah, it's finished. Okay, right. finished already. Uh, don't worry, only one guy already. <laughs> okay, uh, I was conscious about the one guy. Okay. <laughs> no issue. Okay, it's okay. So we open up. Uh, no, 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 wait, don't open up. What? We must do the stop better. You know, we shall bugging with him. Negative one, charisma! What do you want to bargain with that? If I let him out, he must pay me 10 gold. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds better. See? Okay. Um, so we knock on the thing and go like, okay. We're not here to hurt you, but if we let you out, you have to give us 10 gold. <laughs> <laughs> okay, make a persuasion. Which one you want? Persuasion or intimidation? <laughs> I'm both negative one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I am uh, not the 
proficient in any, I've got plus one in both. So, okay. So, would you like to do the other thing? I shall hit him. Yeah? Okay, try. So, 11 over, 15. Oh, nice, nice. Okay. No, no, I will try and do a persuasion roll. So I'm like, you know, hey, come on, man. Like, you know, we just saved you. You know, if you let you out, like, you know, guys, you know, on the ground, you know, give us something. But we're gonna let you out, but, you know, reward us. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, so the first roll was a 14. Uh, plus whatever, so the second roll was a 18 plus 1, which is 19. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> so he says, okay, open, uh, open up, and I'll give you something in return. Ah, yes, ah, okay. Now we're yeah. talking <laughs> financially stoked. <laughs> so, how are you guys going to open it? Hmm? I uh, think I'm not just going to lock it, using so fire board. Try to open it, but it seems locked. Oh, okay, so it's a lock. So is, is it? It's just locked. Is it a wooden door? I look at the uh the the, the, the gnome, a... the gnome. I was like, do you have a key to this, or do you have any locking skills? No, I, I don't have anything, man. <laughs> okay, <laughs> ask ask the question. What material is the door made out? Okay, so it's a very very uh, hard wood, but there's like some uh, metal pieces. Mm. The hinges are forcing. Hinges are forcing. I got one idea. Let's just burn the door, yeah? <laughs> wait, 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 no, no, no. I have a crowbar from my adventure pack. Try to pry open. I will, I will try to pry open. Would you like to assist your friend? Yeah, why not? <laughs> okay, go. Cool. Yes, I assisted. <laughs> oh, cool! You assisted. Okay, so it's a strength check, right? Yeah, it's a strength check. Uh, athletics. Athletics check. Okay, cool. Wow, so that's an 11. Uh, so we get higher. Uh, no. 11 is the highest, plus 4, which is 15. Okay, so you, you, that's a success. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> okay, you pull out the human out of the disgusting manhole and the smell of dump and piss follows him. Ah! Oh, so he and poo! You realize that you know much, what's in the trap room? Oh. A toilet. It's a toilet, yeah. <laughs> but he's been trapped with the piss and shit all over. Just a lie. Thank you guys for saving me. Thank you. Okay, like promise. Here, take this gift as a token of my gratitude. So, this guy, he hands you two healing potions. Whoa! So, oh, like one of you get one each. So, he says, Guys, this cellar is unsafe. You must hurry. The ritual may have already taken place. Oh, oh ritual? Ritual? What ritual? Where? I shall do an uh, Akina check to check what ritual it is. Oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> 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 it's like, what Where? He says, there was a man who left his cultists here. I was using the toilet and I heard screaming moving towards the next room. I hear them talking about sacrificing these farmers for a ritual. They appear to be worshippers of Magna. Oh. God of death and necromancy. They were going to steal the souls of the innocents, only to reanimate them as walking corpses. Quickly now, there is no time. You must head further in and stop them. Oh no! And if you happen to find my trade legend, I will be most grateful. By the way, my name is Jafar. What? Jafar? <laughs> Jafar from Aladdin? I will continue to hide here and if you do return, I will also provide you safe passage. Oh. Ooh, with my friend. The <laughs> gnome. The gnome. <laughs> so he tells you that yeah, he's the he's the he's a he's a merchant for the for the gnome. Okay. So he's one of the crew men for the gnome. Yeah. So that's oh, it. That's all he tells you. Yeah. Okay. So he tells you to move forward. And the dog is just like being very grateful. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. You saved my friend. Thank you very much for making it all the way to the end. This is the end of part one of episode one. Part two will be coming out next Wednesday for Wild Mode Wednesdays. If you enjoyed today's video, please remember to like and subscribe. Each little bit helps. If you're interested in cool painted miniatures, check out Instagram at DragonToothMix, link in the description below. Thank you and have a great day.